I decided that if the camera was charged, I would go ahead and film my entire day of training, and here we are. So it is 8 a.m. Got some snatch work to begin with, some strength stuff following that. Couple Metcons and then some engine work in the evening. Hopefully you guys enjoy, follow along, cheer me on. Let's do it. Whew, couple things worth noting. One, it is so humid, I'm sweating like crazy. The sun's not even out yet, making it really hard to hold onto the bar. So I'm using straps even still. It's slipping and sliding, but gotta do what you gotta do. Number two, because it's 8 a.m., trying to be quiet instead of playing music listening to a little something something on my Beats headphones, which are awesome, they stay in really well. Number three, that's all I got. Doing the snatch complex, it's one high hang squat snatch, one below the knee squat snatch, one squat snatch from the floor. Check it out. That set was a little funky, slippery once again. Going with the flow, gotta do what you gotta do. Got one more try, that was 215. Let's go up 235 to finish. That was not incredibly technical, but there are pros and cons to the whole lifting at home situation during this quarantine period. Not having all the equipment you need, not being in the air conditioning, not having a training partner. There are so many factors. I try to look at the positive, the fact that I do have a barbell, I do have space that I can lift outside. Whether or not it was a perfectly technical set, I'm glad that I was able to give it a crack. Hopefully next week I can just build on it and make it better. Staying on theme, my next exercise is three hang snatch high pulls at 275 pounds and then one snatch balance at 235 pounds. If I was at the gym, I'd set up two bars, one in the rack for the snatch balance, one on the ground for the high pulls. Not at the gym, don't have two bars. That was tough. Missed the first rep. Got the second one. Let's keep moving. Okay, thank goodness. Sweaty, grippy stuff is done. Moving on to some front squats out of the rack. All right, last time I'll bring it up, but I had to say it because it's everybody's favorite word. I am moist. Well, I just finished up my front squats and I had three by three finished at 3.35. It is breakfast time. I just ate a mango and a bowl of Cheerios with oat milk and a banana and I'm about to eat four eggs, a bagel and an apple, my giant shaker full of water. There's some pretty flowers. Joanna and I's engaged anniversary. I drew that card myself. Max is a handsome fella. And Joanne got me that one. Max, you're a handsome fella, right? Because it is Wednesday, it's the third training day of the week. I'm honestly feeling pretty tired. I feel like sometimes at this point, I'm just trying to make it through the day. Obviously, I'm gonna bring as much intensity as I can and try to get the most out of it, but it's kinda of like just survive today and then you earn yourself that rest day tomorrow. That being said, I'm feeling it. I have now 
90 seconds to do as many clean and jerks as I can at 285 pounds, which is 80% of my one rep max clean and jerk, 355. And then I have four six minute AM wraps. Lots of burpees, lots of jumping. Maxi, you a good boy, right? I get strapped up into my Romaleos. I don't typically wear weightlifting shoes, but I wanted to give these a try and I actually really like them for clean and jerks and squatting. Do not like them personally for snatching, just the way my body works doesn't make as much sense for me. For cleans, I feel like it does help me keep a nice upright vertical torso, which is really helpful and they're solid for the jerks. Ready? Good job. No more complaining, time to do work. Something interesting just happened in the warm up. I always have a pretty wide setup stance. I have a little cut on my leg. I don't know if you can see it, but I was trying to avoid scratching the cut on the knurling of the bar, so I moved my feet in ever so slightly so that that cut was now just inside of the smooth part of the bar and it felt really good like my clean felt more powerful i felt like i was jumping my feet into a better squat position 10 years into crossfit still discovering new things let's go
well, for some reason, the camera shut off midway through the workout. Looks like it just didn't record the final six minute AMRAP, but because that was the exact same as the first six minute AMRAP, I'm gonna grab a clip of that first one and just slow it way down because that's how I felt like I was moving. That was a sweaty mess. I was slipping and sliding in a little puddle of my uh, liquids on the whole thing, pretty much every burpee. Made the box jumps a little sketchy, but hey, we got it done. 24 minutes of work. I'm gonna eat, maybe take a nap, and then I've got some uh, mile run assault bike sprint intervals later. <sighs> Okie dokie, smoky. I took a little nap. Hopefully that helps, I was pretty exhausted. The final session is three sets of a one mile run right into a 30 cal assault bike sprint. I recruited a little speed demon as my training partner, Ashley Miller. We are going to try to run the miles somewhere around the 6.30 mark. Maybe a little faster if we're feeling good, maybe a little slower if we don't and then hammer the bike. It's the last thing I've got. Tomorrow's a rest day. Nothing to hold back for. Let's do it. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay. We've got one more. So far, so good. We ran a 611 mile on the first one and then a 602. Kind of tempted to try sub six on this one. We'll see what happens. Smash the bike and then done for the day. Hooray, we did it. Sub six on the last mile, 554. Done. Finally did it. I did not feel great today. You guys saw that since the first moment that I started training this morning, but. I just kind of went through it piece by piece and I made it all the way to the end of the day. I accomplished it and I'm glad that I did. If I would have stopped, I probably would have been pretty bummed out and that would have sat with me for the rest of today and probably all of my rest day. But I finished, so tomorrow I just get to enjoy my rest day and feel good about my accomplishments. I hope you do too. Peace. Yeah.